On this video, we will be showing you how to use Mach 3, which is the interface for the table. And this is what controls your table and your control box. After opening up Mach 3, you will hit your reset button. You will see it's blinking. You need to reset the button. After that, you will see your X, Y, and Z. They may be at different numbers for wherever your table is at. What you're going to want to do is move your torch until you zero it out to wherever you want to start on your piece of material on your table. That's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to zero out my X, Y, and Z. Next, I'm going to go to low G code. And this is going to load the code that we created in Sheet Cam. So we're going to go to Desktop. There's our test part we made. Open. Now you see our test part here. Now if you right click on the mouse, you can move your part around, but if you left click, it will take your part and put it apart. So we're just going to left click, move it around, in and out to zoom, little ball on the mouse. So we can see here, everything is ready to go now. So now simply, after you have everything ready, you can just hit start and it will start cutting. You see here it's moving to a starting position. Pro ignore activated. That's because I did not have this computer hooked up to a table. So it is looking for the micro switch. I'm going to go ahead and override that. Now it's cutting out the part. Now say you can assume it went bad right there. You can simply hit stop. Lift up your torch put your new consumable in and then you can hit rewind code this will just rewind your code so it just cuts over the same part it goes through with your new consumable so you can simply hit start again you see this right here is blinking that means your torch is activated so it should be cutting And this is your lines of code. And this is your code. And this is your feed rate per minute. And this little green arrow represents your torch going up and down. Now, if you want to speed up your torch or slow it down you can go to the MD1 menu click on it and now you can adjust your feed rate so you can increase your feed rate or decrease your feed rate and also you have your diagnostics here your settings and toolpath you will probably never use any of these, but it's always good to have them. Thank you for watching.